Hi guys, welcome to Little Wicket Railway. I'm Rob and in this video we're building the Metcalf signal box kit with the interior. Little Wicket needs a signal box and I've got a Hornby plastic model in there at the moment as a bit of a placeholder but I want to be consistent with all my other models and have a card kit. I really like the card kits because they give you a bit more flexibility if you want to modify them. They're generally a little bit cheaper and they're fun to build. I'm using Metcalf model P0233 and P0580 for this. Metcalf actually make a few different signal box kits but this is the LNWR style one and that fits with my layout. The other reason for choosing this signal box kit is that it comes with a line side shed and a lamp hut and I'm sure I will find a use for those on the layout. You don't have to use the interior kit but seeing as this is going at the front of my layout and it's got quite large windows I thought should anyone happen to look in it might be nice to have some detail in there. Right let's get started with the interior. <laughs> I'm really pleased with how that turned out, so let's crack on with the main signal box. So Little Wicket finally has a signal box and now that's in place I can start doing the scenery stuff around it. You may have noticed did a few extra little bits just to help bring the model to life like printing the um, Little Wicket signal box sign for the front, I painted the plastic parts in sleeper grime brown, uh, the little man on the inside is from Daypole, he's a trackside figure and I've just replaced the shovel he was holding with the um, signal box lever and I also used a couple of texture sheets on the inside for the floor and the walls from model railway scenery. But as a standalone kit without any of that stuff I really like the Metcalf signal box and I would definitely recommend it. Thanks for watching, if you've enjoyed this video then please give me a like and a subscribe and I will hopefully see you again soon.